Hello guys and welcome back to my survival let's play series. Just got w woke up and what we are going to do today person suggested it in the com in the comments said that I wanted that he wanted me to uh do some Steve Steve's cart stuff. I'm not too experienced with Steve's carts, but I know you can do amazing things with it. However, before I get started on it, I'm going to show you a little update on my bees. Once I find where the books are. Back to my base. As you can see, it's practically not even here anymore. But I do still keep my bees over here. Coke ovens doing its stuff. And, uh,. What I've been doing is uh, these frames can be enchanted through Enchanting Plus. So I put Unbreaking 3, and I can also repair them. The, the bad thing about it, it costs, you know, to repair one of those, it costs me about 7 levels. And then to put Unbreaking 3 on it, it took about uh, 14. So it was about 21 levels each frame. Now what I did... Uh, to do all that, I went and got into my uh, zombie spawner and made it to where I could hit the uh, zombies with my sword here and uh, get the experience. And I had uh, Steve there collect all my experience for me. But, an update on the bees. Uh, I'm currently trying to get these up to cultivated at least, so then I can uh, do something else with them. And uh, I got my common and my uh, cultivated branch done, and I got a few drones from them. And currently I've been breeding, I've been getting some uh, diligent drones, and I just barely got myself a good uh, purebred noble branch. And then from here I can go on and get a, uh, all the way up to Imperial and Industrious pretty quickly now, I think. Let's see. Oh yeah. That was an update on the bees, now let's go back to Steve's carts. To get started in Steve's carts, you need to make yourself a uh, cart assembler. And to make the uh, cart assembler, if we open up our NEI, cart, uh, where'd, you, where'd you go? Right here, cart assembler. You're going to need some uh, simple PCBs, stone, and some iron. And this simple PCB is added in from uh, Steve's carts, and it's made just like so. Got some iron, some redstone, and some gold. Pretty simple stuff. So I go in and made myself a plan here, and I'm going to get myself two of these. Place them like right there. Stone like that, and then some iron. Sweet. Now we got ourselves a cart assembler. Where do I want to put this? Uh, hmm. I think I want to put it over here by this alloy furnace. All my miscellaneous like machines that don't really need build craft or industrial craft power. Yeah, I think that's a good spot. And I have to change my, uh, uh, where are you? My, uh, layout. Uh, video settings, I think. GUI scale, oh, that's small. Set it to large. Oh man, that's really small. <laughs> but it allows us to see everything that's right up here. Tell me what you guys think about this smaller UI. Do you think it's good, bad? Tell me. I might just leave it like this because I'm going to be using the card assembler here pretty uh, uh, frequently. So you, what you have to do is to get a to start making a cart. Please add a cart hole of your choice to the hole slot, which is right up here. And then from here you can add an engines, a tool, attachments, storage, and add-ons. So you can make a, yourself a modular cart. Now to get these module or modules. If you put in a module, anything from this little uranium thing right here, this thing all the way to this thing, all these little things. These are all the different attachments you can attach to a, your minecart. And these are some holes. You can have yourself a wooden one, uh, a standard one, which is like an oil minecart one, and then a reinforced hole. Now, the wooden one's pretty cheap. But if you look around it, you've got a modular capacity and a complexity cap. Some of these attachments, see how this one says 22, the modular cost? Well, this one goes over the capacity and it goes over the cap. So you can't actually attach this onto this one. 
Now, the standard hull, you can have up to 200 capacity, but the, but it's capped at 50. Now, let's see. Oh, like this one right here, this chunk loader, has a modular cost of 84. Wow, that's a lot. Now, uh, you can't put this chunk loader on the standard hull because it can't go above 50, even though it has capacity for it. And then it also has how many engines it could have and how many add-ons it can have. So this one has six, and then max engines of three. So what I'm going to do is make myself a standard hull, just made with some iron, and some iron, two iron wheels, which are made with some sticks. So, not too bad. Glad I got some wood in here. Let's go make ourselves some sticks. Two sets should do her. Just like that. Two iron. Get ourselves two wheels. And now we got ourselves a cart. A hull, should I say. Go throw that into the uh, cart assembler. I think if I leave it here, it should stay. Yeah. See, I can have up to three engines. As you can see, all these uh, things showed up. I have up to three engines, a tool, attachments, and storage, and some add-ons. Now, a cart that I'm going to be making, I either had two choices of what I really wanted to do. A mining cart, which I would have to follow because I couldn't be able to put a chunk loader on it because this uh, reinforced hole, it's expensive. You've got some reinforced metal, which is made from stabilized, which is made from hardened mesh and reinforced hardener, hardened, refined hardeners, or you know, from raw hardener, which requires diamonds and obsidian. So I'm going to be holding off onto that. So I can't put a chunk loader on it. I could put a world anchor attached to it. I could have done that. But I think I'm saving a uh, some kind of tunnel boring system for later using red power. It's not going to be your standard block breaker one. Oh, no, I'm going to be using Thomcraft. But that's a little spoiler for you guys. But, uh... Now back to this uh, cart assembler. So, the other uh, cart that I could have made, or that I am making right now, is I'm going to have a farming cart. Now what this cart's going to do, it's going to plant trees, fertilize them with bone meal, and uh, cut them down for me. And I think that that, that is very, very neat. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually put on two engines onto this thing. A coal engine and a solar engine. So, solar energy engine will take power from the uh, sun, and then a coal engine will, uh, it, it, it uses coal in it. So, uh, like, if it's running during the night, I would want it to be running on coal, and then, like, during the day, it'll run on solar. So it'll never stop, uh, you know, cutting down trees and whatnot. Ooh, this thing's complicated. We're going to need four of these solar things, an advanced PCB, which is made with two PCBs, Okay, let's let's make a plan of that. I think that would be a very wise of me. So we have that. Uh, let's. There we go. One of these. Iron down the middle with redstone. And I'm going to definitely need more iron. Oh boy. Oh well, dang it! I forgot to write a, write in a plan. Oh well, we'll we'll probably going to be uh, using those later. I'm going to go get some more iron. I had to go make some... Oh, I'm also going to need some diamonds. I think five. I found some diamonds, but not as much as I would like. And uh, we're running really low on tin, as we can see. But we're we're okay on iron. I have no complaints there. Eight sounds good. So we got ourselves a simple PCB. We're just going to need to get ourselves two pistons. That's alright. I got pistons already here. So we got pistons. Let's see. And then we're also going to need two iron, which I have, and then four of these solar panels. Solar panels are made with some glowstone and some redstone. So I'm going to need eight. Hope I counted that right. I already had some iron in the bag. It was probably from uh, whenever I was killing uh, zombies earlier. Okay. So we got some glowstone. 
We've already got some redstone in here and then some iron. You're going to need to get four of these solar panels. Four. Look at me, I can count. Okay, I think from that we've got everything. But our pistons like this, our advanced PCB, our solar panels, and then... Wait. A couple of iron. I'm not going to write this. Now we've got ourselves a solar engine. Sweet. Let's put that right in there. Ooh, yeah. That's sweet. Now I'm also going to add in a coal engine. Pretty simple. It requires two more pistons and a furnace. Do I have any cobble? I have cobble over here. Get ourselves a furnace. Wait. A coal engine. Nice. Now the tool it's going to be using is going to be a uh, a uh, cutting tool. So if we go and look for tool here, tool, uh, we're going to need a wood cutter right here. It costs 34, so I should be able to put it on there. Now this thing's going to be a little bit complicated. We're going to need a wood cutting core, which is another one of these advanced PCBs. We know how to make one of those. Except this time, I'm not going to mess up the recipe. I'm actually going to write it. I'm going to need some more iron. Write it. Got it. Good. And we're also going to need eight saplings. Which I should have right over here. I don't think it matters what kind of saplings you use, as long as you use saplings. So... I'll use I'll use the ones that I have a lot of, which are oak. Wait. Got ourselves a wood cutting core. And a piece of iron and then some saw blades. This is where my uh, diamonds come in. Ooh, boy, expensive. And I need five of them. So right here is already five diamonds. There goes half my diamond supply. But I'll never have to worry about wood ever again. Got ourselves a wood cutter. Sweet. And as you can see, as soon as I put stuff on, we got our whole capacity, complexity, total cost. As soon as I put this one in, it should raise up. Uh -huh. And you can also see from right here, it takes time to assemble your cart. Oh boy. So right here, I could make myself a uh, engine. Well, it has no place to store it. Ooh. That, that's going to be a problem, so I'm actually going to need... Module. I'm actually going to need some chests. Now I can't put it a top chest or a front chest because it has the tool. But I can get some side chests on here. And side chests, oh boy, requires all these chest panes. But you get 32 of them. And I'm actually going to need to get myself a couple. Which are made with two logs and then some planks like so. I'm going to get myself two stacks. So, from here, I'm going to need four of these huge chest panes, which are nine of these. One, two, three, four. And then I'm also going to be needing uh, four of those, I think. No, just two. That's not where that goes. So two of these. Two of those, and then a chest lock, which is some stone and some iron. Nice and simple. Eight of those. Got it. And with that, I think we've got ourselves a chest pane. These are switched. There we go. Some side chests. Sweet. As soon as I place this in here... Bam. Aha! Got some self some side chests. Now I could go and go and get some internal storage, but uh, they're much more cheaper, but they require 25, and you don't get a whole lot of storage. But it doesn't take up a side of the cart. Now what else I'm going to need, I think, 
I'm going to need a fertilizer. Do 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 do. Extracting chests. Ooh, those things are neat. Advanced stuff, though. So, what am I looking for? This thing, fertilizer. I need some another simple PCB, some leather, bone meal, and some glass bottles. Something I uh, wasn't expecting. Let's go and get ourselves another one of these simple PCBs. Glad I made plans for those. Uh, some bottles, which I've got some glass in here for. Bottles, simple PCB, three leather, and then a couple bone meal. Couple bone meal. I'm gonna need more of that stuff though. Uh, where to go? There we go. Bone meal and then three left. Well, this is going. I'm gonna pulverize. I don't know. Ten bones. Yeah. There we go. Is my lap pack on? It sort of needs to be charging. Bam. Okay, where was I? Right down here. You get some three leather. Oh, wait. Some two bone meal. Get ourselves a fertilizer. This thing will automatically fertilize the uh, area, and it goes in attachments. And with that, let's see if I need anything else. Have some tiny engines. They don't produce as much. Invisibility core. I can make it be invisible. Farmer is used for uh, like potatoes and wheat and stuff. Track remover, bridge builder. Got entity detectors. Control system if you want to ride your own cart. Shooter for uh, mob grinding, advanced shooter, cleaning machine to pick up stuff, divine shield to protect itself. There's a lot of cool neat uh, stuff. Compact solar engines. Well, this thing's neat. Ooh, and expensive. Cage. I have no idea what this cage will do. Oh, I think it picks up an entity. Hmm. Fireworks. Railer, extracting chests we can't get. Yep, I think with that, we're done with this uh, cart here. So what I'm going to do is grab all this stuff. Put it in my mod items chest. Uh, actually, I'm actually going to need uh, a couple other components. I'm also going to need a cargo manager. Cargo. To... Uh, to uh, drop all the uh, items that it picks up into its inventory. And we're going to need some iron chest panes. I'm also going to need a cargo distributor, which is pretty easy. I'll get one of those now. Uh, four of those. One, two, three, four. A little expensive. But what do I know? There we go. Got ourselves a cargo distributor. And we're also going to need these panes here. Now we're going to need four huge iron panes, which are made from nine iron panes. We get eight of these and then a piece of iron. So they're not too bad. Let's see, how many do I need? I'm going to get 32. Might need more. Probably lots more. I don't think this will get me four. Oh no. Yeah, definitely going to need more. Let's see if I made enough uh, with these chest things. And then we're also going to need four of these, I think. I'm going to need five, because this one requires... No, this need four. Two, three, four. And then I'm also going to need four of those, which are made with redstone. Is that right? 
that. One, two, three, four. Doop, doop, oh, doop, doop. I made just enough of these. Which is good, because now none of it's wasted. Uh, four of the, no, they're like this. Just like that. Yeah, cargo manager. And then I'm also going to need one more component before I go lay, or at least, oh, you know what, I could have been a, oh, I could have started it while I was uh, crafting those. Because this one's, this cart's going to take a while. So I'm going to put, get a stack of coal. really need to finish my base. But there's just all these cool mods. Okay. Now, it also requires, this one requires energy to, uh... Where's my, oh, my mind is in my bag. It also requires energy to run. And it runs off of coal, so... So I'm going to throw in a stack of coal. I think it's in this slot. Yeah. It'll fill up this little bar here for its fuel level. And then it's going to take 15 minutes. I'm going to edit it out, you know, for you guys. But I'm pre pretty much just going to wait here until it's uh, done. Probably do some bee stuff off camera. So I'm going to hit assemble. It's going to be idle. And it's like, start making a car. And it'll show you a little progress. And tell you how much time is left. Well, that's running. Which I should have, you know, let it run as soon as I finished it. Put those stuff in that mod item chest. I'm also going to need a, 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 a different type of rail. Luckily, I have enough rail to, uh, to uh, get this, this thing off the ground because of all the mine shafts I found. I mined up all the rails so I wouldn't have to make them. But uh, thanks to... Uh, where's the other rails? It's track, right? The original rails are made from these. They're now called track because Railcraft changes the recipe for a uh, for a uh, uh, rails. You need to get six of these standard rails, which are really easy, which are made in a rolling machine with a uh, six iron. Whoops. And you have to get this wooden rail bed, which are made from wooden ties, and each wooden tie requires three wooden slabs and then some bu a bucket of creosote oil. Instead, I just went find myself a mine shaft, mined up all the rails. So I wouldn't have to, you know, I wouldn't say waste my time, but, uh, you know, have to, uh, have to craft those. When I can, you know, just find them out in the world. I'm also going to need for, uh, this, uh, thing is a specific, uh, rail. It's just called rail because, uh, it's from Steve's carts and it's called an advanced detector rail. So I'm going to need two pressure plates, some some iron, and then a piece of redstone. Two pressure plates. Wait. Piece of redstone. And some iron. This so it can tell, uh... This cargo manager can interact with the, uh... The, uh, rail line. That's what I need that for. So if you go back... Okay. Okay, guys, I'm gonna be back... Once this is done, and then I'll report to you on any kind of bee stuff that I'll have. Okay. Be right back. Hello guys, and welcome back. My thing isn't quite done yet. Still got about five minutes left on it. But, while that's working, I'm going to instead create a new object from... Well, that's not the right machine, but I need to throw those in there anyway. And this one's the machine. Carpenter. That's right. I'm going to need to create a new machine for you guys to help me... Ab you know, along my B career. This is a new uh, item added in from uh, Extra Bees. You take a diamond, an emerald. It's already really expensive. Uh, I think it's... Hmm, gonna have to check the recipe. Yep, making myself an Apiaris databank. Ooh, I only needed one of these glass panes. Need two pieces of redstone. We got ourselves a glass pane, two pieces of redstone, gold, and tin. Is that the right recipe? These flipped? I think these are flipped. Nope. 
Oh, I know why. It also requires water to run. There we go. Let's have some more buckets of water. There we go. Let's wait for that thing to be processed. Should take up all of this. It's an expensive item, but it allows you to record on all the all the uh, bees that you've uh, discovered so far. It's a uh, really neat tool. I'm kind of mad at myself for having you know not made one yet. Let's clear out this inventory. Get ourselves our APR data bank. It doesn't require anything to run. It's portable. You right click, and it'll show you all the bees that you've seen so far. Go by species or the branches. I'm gonna go by species. You got ourselves a forest. This one's you know from regular forestry. You can go and see you know what uh what it what its uh genome is by default. Shows you how much it you know m makes. It produces honeycombs every 5.1 minutes. It lives in a normal climate. And there's different climates. It shows you all the biomes it's compatible with. Shows you what it can mutate into. And, uh... This shows you all the, uh, mutations. As you can see, to get myself a common bee, makes myself a forest and a meadows, and get ourselves a common. As you can see, if it shows you a discovered species, all these, uh, mutations require, uh, the... the, uh, meadows, or the forest bee you can see here requires a queen these kind of queens and then this one I think it's the other way around too on the other side if I go back to meadows yeah there we go common this shows you all the mutations that you can have see like this one that I, I had no idea what it is but it was a meadows bee and a modest bee will get you an arid bee if you go down here to arid ooh arid with a common we get yourself a barren ooh now there's something that I that I'm looking for and I'm pretty sure if we get a barren with a uh, cultivated right here or no a uh, a bar a barren with a arid we we'll, we would get ourselves the next one up the uh, chain right here sweet and then it'll go back you know here's the barren line arid barren but these are all the stuff that I've discovered so far. So you got three branches, Oster, Industrious, Noble, and just the regular beats. Sweet, right? Let's go check on our uh, cart. Ooh, we are almost done. We got ourselves a minute to go. Well, while it's still going, I feel like it's a good time to... Well, I guess it's already day. I'm going to... Uh, Go and set this stuff up. Now if you go over to our cargo manager over here, we can see, if you right click, sort of a complicated interface, it's not too bad. But before I start messing uh, stuff with the uh, cargo manager, oop, I'm going to, uh, now, this cargo manager, whenever you set up a wooden engine and a wooden pipe, it'll just, you know, pull out everything. Well, what happens if I want to refuel my uh, my cart here? If I ever want to throw in like some coal to re, uh, like let's say it's running out of coal for its coal engine, I can just come over here and like you know throw in some coal, but then it'll just get pumped out because it's pumping out you know all the objects. Well, we go and make ourselves you know this cargo distributor, and this one will tell you you know what not to pump out and what to pump out, and from where. Now, I think. The purple side, if I'm correct, no, it's the yellow side that's on top. Yeah, or this dark yellow, gold, should I say, is on top. So I'm going to... Huh, so it is the yellow side. Okay, that's weird. Well, it's going to uh, it's going to uh, pump stuff out of the yellow side here. And right now, I'm not too worried, but... If if I'm really starting to worry about the coal, I'm going to, you know, set these all the way up. But I'm going to set right here that it'll pump out everything automatically without any kind of engine or power from this yellow side. 
and I should be able to hook up some pneumatic tubes straight into it. Where these pneumatic tubes are going to go? Right over here. To a bunch of barrels. One, two, three. Because I'm going to have oaks be here. I'm going to have apple. Wood can be down there at the let end. And saplings can go right there. Sweet. All I need now is my cart. Which should be done at this point. This episode's going just a little bit long, but uh, I want to show you guys what this thing can do. As you can see, I threw in a stack of coal here, and it used up, you know, almost all of it. Let's get ourselves our cart. Back to our base. That was weird. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down this cart. Right click it right at now. And set this down to disabled. Now you can see whenever I you know, placed it down, you might say, whoa, this thing is neat. And it is. Got ourselves some side chests. Get ourselves a woodcutter. This is where it's going to put, you know, all the uh, stuff. Oh, that's where the saplings go. That's right. And everything else will fall into the side chest. Right now it's engines out of fuel. Let's go get some fuel for some coal. I think I hear Steve. Yeah, he's been sitting there for a while, and, you know, I haven't been paying too much attention. But uh, I'm going to need to go back into some Thomcraft research to uh, get to my tunnel boring system later. But right now we're going to set this thing up. Because one of you guys commented on it. Go and throw in our coal. Our cells, a, it used up a piece of coal. And then this thing right over here is for a fertilizer. It can store, you know, quite a bit. I'm going to throw in 60 fertilizer. Ooh. And I think with that... It's going to be good. Now these other buttons up here, I've got these set up to disable. If I were to uh, left click on them, it'll set up a priority. And like right now it's disabled so it won't use any of this fuel. I'm going to set this to a low priority and set this one up to a higher priority. It'll use the solar engine first before using the coal, which is what I'm going to set it up to. Now right here, I'm going to need to set up this, uh, this, this uh, manager right here to take out all of the... Uh, inventory space for it so and it's right here on this blue side so what I'm gonna do is change this button yeah switch all these buttons to uh, to be blue I think there we go and right now it's going to move all this stuff from the cargo manager into the cart I'm not going to have that. I'm going to have... It's going to take out anything that it can from the engine. You know what? There we go. Anything from storage that it has, it'll go into the uh, manager. And any... Let's see if we can find saplings here. Any saplings it'll take out of the, the inventory. And then also any, what else does it need? I was going to set some fertilizer. Yeah, and it'll take out any fertilizer that's from this inventory. And this one we can set, set that one to be a different color because we don't need it. I think with that, we've got ourselves a, uh, system going. So let's enable this for a higher priority and set this one to be low. And now you can see it started going to go and plant the trees. Look at it go. Haha. <laughs> I need to get some more saplings. And what it'll do, it'll, you know, run along this track planting saplings, cutting down any wood. As you can see, I've got it going into like this circular formation. And then coming up this way. Ooh, there we go. 
tree is already grown. It cuts down all the leaves. And it'll go straight for the. Uh... So that's a... as you can see, the leaves block the uh, solar panel. I choose a little bit of sa uh, fertilizer, but it got some oak saplings and it got itself some wood. Any saplings that it finds will fall into here. And the cool thing about this engine is that it it can run off this oak wood. So if it actually does run out of coal, it can pull out uh, stacks of wood from this inventory here, and it'll, you know, set it up to go. That's a weird bug. There we go. I want to show you. Oh, this one's backwards. Okay, now it's set right. It's almost had a sapling, so it, it'll just continuously, you know, go along this path. And it's also fertilizing the area. Got here, so it went and dropped off its uh, oak wood. Just like that. And this one should be pulling. I think it might need a redstone signal. I think that's the case. Like I said, I haven't played too much with Steve's carts, but uh, I think this is where I'm going to have to call it an episode for you guys, unfortunately, because this episode's kind of running on a little bit long. But I wanted to sh get this done and show you guys uh, what you can do with the modular Steve's carts. Nope. Well, I'm going to find a way to uh, take out all this stuff that's in here and put it into those barrels eventually. Well, this is a lunchbox. Adios, and good night.